I feel like I rarely vlog with my makeup done, and it's like I'm a whole different person. <laughs> <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. My name is Alyssa Marie, if you are new here. And this is the start of a new vlog. Today is Friday, we are kicking it off again. The end of the week. And I just, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Like, what is new? I just wanna give a quick thank you for all the love on my last vlog and all the compliments on the hair. I'm still going strong with it. Today's Friday, so Tuesday will make four weeks that I've had this hair in and I washed it about like five six days ago i like not all the way saturated it i like you know watched the actual extensions and my leave out blew it out so now it's like looking super fresh again besides like you know whatever i didn't do my hair today took out the bonnet brushed it but i'm getting ready to go to the gym you guys already know how i do and yeah let me show you what i'm wearing today here is the gym fit for the day i'm wearing this is who is this? This is, oh my God, who is this? This is Crop Shop Boutique, but this is old. Like they don't have this one anymore. This girl, I probably had this for like four or five years. I kid you not, I've had this sports bra for so long, but it's like in tip top shape. I think it's like the seamless type. So there's like no holes in it. There's no string undone. It's just, it's amazing. And I'm wearing, these are the Honor Active Timeless Leggings in a similar color the back i really like them they're like a nice like you can work out in them but you can also just like wear them to lounge in tmi i'm not wearing underwear because i will say with these they definitely like they show your underwear line bad like really bad so i just going without gonna do a quick workout and then you know get up out of this but it's very comfortable and breathable i do like it and this is what excuse my background i cooked last night I made steak, garlic butter bites with some pasta, and I'm really bad at cleaning up after. Like, I clean up, like, put the food up, put all the ingredients up. I wipe up a little bit, but girl, I'm not washing dishes and bleaching and wiping and spraying. I'm just not doing it. I always do it the next morning, so ignore that. When we get back, that's on my to-do list as well, which we're about to go over everything that needs to get done today which the list is not too long I'm just gonna make my pride pretty you guys already know i'm making pride and the blue slushy flavor i do have a code with them a list of 10 if you're interested look how much like i'm getting to the bottom today is legs for me and i need to film one workout for my demo so if you don't know my new program is coming out it is called fit and feminine it's a six week program i already like yesterday was it yesterday or the day before i sent over all the content to my editor and now he's just perfecting it making it pretty putting everything together for you guys and i'm so so excited but it launches next friday so today's friday it launches in a week march 15th but when i was filming all the demos there was one workout I wasn't able to do because, you know, I was filming it in a public gym. So there was, it was the leg press machine. And I kid you not, you know, like those bodybuilder type people who, they don't do like three to four sets on a workout. They do like eight to 10. And she was doing a circuit and you could tell like, she just kept going back to the leg press and then she'll go do something else, but then she'll go back to the leg press. Like it was never ending to the point that once we filled all the demos, and was like sitting there chilling, looking at them, done. She was still using the leg press and she was going in. So I was like, you know, listen, it's not available. I can't film it today. So when I go do my workout today, I'm gonna do leg press, but I also need to make sure I film like a demo of it because that's the last workout that's missing in the program at all. Mm -hmm. Let's look over today's to-do list. I need to go to the gym. I dropped my baby off to school. I did my skincare this morning, mm -hmm. loving it. And I need to begin a new vlog, doing that right now. <laughs> I need to clean up my home a little bit. We're gonna do that. Like I have clean dishes to put up. I don't really have any dirty dishes besides what I did last night. I don't know, but I gotta clean up a little bit. We'll do that after, that's super easy. My bathroom is clean. Um, I did pretty good tidying my home up because I really deep cleaned it last Friday. 
and then we didn't do like too much crazy stuff like i gotta fold some towels girl whatever so we're gonna do that and then i need a pedicure i need a pedicure so bad like they look okay but it's been like six weeks like it's been a long time so i to the point that i even had to like clip them down myself because they were just getting too long because i get gel so the polish will still stay but it grows out but i got like a nude so you can't see it from far away but we're gonna go today i'm gonna get a pedicure finally which i really need it like i enjoy getting pedicures it's just having to drive there and get the energy to go but once i'm sitting down i enjoy my pedicures like the massage everything the people i go to they do really good it's just it's so far away from me now but whatever we're gonna go but i also need to go to the mall and the mall is over there and girl i have not i need new casual clothes like new year new age i don't know like spring is upon us i need new casual day-to-day -day wear i feel like i have the same three to four sweatpants and i just switch them out every single day i have a lot of shirts but some of them i just don't want to wear anymore i don't know like so anyways we're gonna go to the mall and i want to see if i can find like some cute casual wear and not break the bait like nice little quality not too restricting so i can look more put together but it's not the same you know i vlog for you guys so you guys need like my same little favorite sweatshirts and stuff and i'm constantly you know wearing them because they're so comfy to me and i don't have so many that are of that comfort level and like i just love wearing them so i want to get like more and it's been on my mind for like weeks now like i don't need no more glam clothes i mean granted it's part of my job now but like i have plenty of dresses i have plenty of two-piece sets maxi skirts satin i have a bunch i have so many new like super cute clothes i need to wear but i'm like when we just want to go catch a bite to eat i don't really like what i have you know so i want to go to the mall and see what's going on i have not been to zara in months since last year like i haven't been to zara in so long but when i used to live super close to there i would like go all the time so we're gonna go there and i really want to get like some new jewelry like my little rings my cute little like rings i like to get from h&m and stuff just to put on i don't have it i always lose them after a few months so it's been a few months and now i have like maybe two left so i want to go get a fresh pack of those and maybe like you know see what other earrings or things that they have so we're gonna go and try to do a little shopping today and what else and we're gonna do this before i get my baby period because spring break starts this is our last day of school then they have spring break for a whole week so whew, child, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing stuff i don't know also i'm forgetting I just got tickets to Burner Boy. Burner Boy concert is Monday. Monday night at 7.30 here in Tampa. And I got gifted some tickets last night. So also when we go, I'm going to look for like something to wear to that. Because I don't think I've, I've vlogged, but I didn't include it in the vlog. Remember my last vlog, I was like, oh, sorry for the delay. Like I started a vlog, but then I just got so busy that I just scrapped the whole thing and then started over. So part of the vlog that I scrapped was me getting ready for the Drake and J. Cole concert. But I had got the tickets the same day. So I didn't have no time to go shopping or like, you know, just try to find like newer stuff. So I just like found something out of my closet. And it ended up being super cute, but I don't have like more varieties of that. So also, now that I have a four day in advance, three day in advance, we're going to go to the mall to also try to find something to wear to the concert. Maybe like just some cool like new pants, cargo pants and stuff. I'm really like, I like to be kind of chill when I go to concerts, but still cute. Like, I mean, Beyonce was different. But a cute little cargo pant, bodysuit, a little maybe matching bag. I just need new stuff. Anyways, I'm going to finish this. Enough rambling. That's pretty much all that's on the list today. I don't think I'm doing anything tonight. Like, I kind of wanted to do content and stuff outside of this, but I just haven't been. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Let me just get my work.
Just made breakfast. I'm about to eat, watch some YouTube videos, and then I'm gonna clean up and we'll tap in, okay? It's a little bit later and I just got ready for us to go run these errands and I just wanna show you what I'm wearing. This bed hat, I like it, it's cute, but this is like one of the few things that I have that I like. This is from Zara and it's, the only thing I don't like about the sweatshirts they're so like cropped-ish. They're not supposed to be cropped though, but it's so short they should have just like made it a crop. I don't know. But I have a sweater and then I have the matching sweatpants. I'm trying to show you. Which these are so comfy and great. If they have more of these in different colors, I will get them. I have a gray. Somehow I washed the I washed the gray and I stained them with pink. I do not know how that happened, but Safe to say I got rid of them, but I really love them. So now I'm kind of only stuck with this one and I still have the, you know, top piece to the gray, but I don't have any of the same material matching gray sweats. So I would like to get some more of those and like some cute shirts, you know, things like that. And hopefully nothing I don't need, you know, but we're going to be disciplined. I've been really good this year with just like not overindulging and spending, not buying things I really do not need but I haven't getting stuff I just moved so I've been decorating my home and you know doing things that I really wanted so anyway and I also need to wear something that when I go get a pedicure I can pull up my pants comfortably so no cargo pants no jeans I am not a jean girl in a sense of I'm gonna go run some errands let me put on jeans baby I live in Florida okay we don't do that over here no thank you I don't do that okay so anyways, I did light makeup, literally concealer to conceal here. I did a little bit right here. I have a blemish here, conceal that. I did some brow gel and then I did a little blush and then I did just my um, chapstick, that's it. No skin tint, no foundation, no nothing. Oh, and I did mascara, like literally I did one coat of the Fenty Beauty Hello Thick. That's my favorite ever since I quit last extensions. Over a year ago, it's the only mascara that I use. I love it so much. I'm open to trying others, but I really don't have any complaints with the Fenty one. And the price is great, $18, and it lasts so long, so. Oh, and my scent of the day is going to be Kayali Oudgasm. I was given this from a friend, and I love it so much. I have less than half of it left. You guys, already this pollen is taking me out. I've already blew my nose. My throat is itchy. My nose is like running. I feel congested. I'm gonna try really hard not to touch my eyes because that's the worst when my eyes itch. <sighs> we haven't even made it anywhere yet. I'm in traffic per usual. That's why I like to plan to go over here. It's like a whole, I gotta plan in advance because there's so many cars in front of me right now. But we're gonna get there. Man, and I didn't had all that coffee. But now I have to pee so bad. Oh my, like, I'm like speeding to the ball. I have to pee so freaking bad right now. Jeez. We're almost there, still in traffic. Okay, I'm back. I didn't take you in. I had to go potty <laughs> so bad. I had to pee so damn bad. But I went in Zara, busy per usual. <coughs> I got a whiff of my perfume a little bit too much and my allergies is already acting crazy. Um, but yeah, I didn't find anything. Now I found some things, but not what I was looking for, but things that I do need as well, but they didn't have my size. They got some cute shoes in there, girl. Listen, I like Zara shoes. Are they always comfortable? No. Do they be cute as F? Yes. So I found some shoes, but they didn't have my size. And I'm definitely going to go home and order them because it's like a style shoe that I need and the color that I need. And I am going to get them. But they didn't have my size. And when it came to casual stuff, girl, crop tops, spandex tops, skims, dupes, the whole nine. And I don't know about you, but when I say I want to dress casual, I don't want to wear, I don't want to walk around with my stomach showing. Just, I'm 30 years old, y'all. Like, I just... Uh, no hell even when i was 28 27 i don't want to walk around 
going to Target, going to the grocery store in a crop top. I don't do that. So cute, but not something that I would wear to run errands in. So whatever, that was a fail. And they didn't really have like any sweatpants and stuff out right now. I don't know. And yeah, that's the only store I went into besides Nordstrom. I walked through Nordstrom and my allergies is just really messing with me. So no, I'm ready to go grab a bite to eat because I'm starving. I have not ate since what? 10, 45, 11 o'clock today. It's 3.30 and I'm just ready to go sit down and just enjoy a nice pedicure. So yeah, we're about to go do that. You guys, he did my toes so cute. It was a new guy and I'm always like nervous when a new person does my toes, but they're pretty good with like most of the, what do we call them? Nail specialists, I don't know. Most of them are, you know, they're on, they be on their game, but some of them don't be. But he did really good. He was young, tall, tatted. I was like, oh, girl. His name was T. I was like, okay. And then he ended up doing really good. He could have slowed down on the massage. He was like the type that like does all the steps but feels like he's rushing. And them older, the older ladies, baby, they gonna massage you down. Okay? Like they take their poor time. They be doing all types of tricks and sequences. But he was still really good. The shape is perfect. Polish is perfect. And yes, we just finished with that. And I'm gonna go get my baby. And I'm thinking, do I want to go to Target? Do I want to go to Target? I don't know. I mean, because I'm already out. I'm already dressed. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go to Target. But I'm just really happy I got a pedicure. I was so overdue, guys. Like, bad. And now they're so cute. I'm congested. Like, I feel like I need to, like, blow my nose right now. But we'll see. Once I get my baby, we'll see. Oh my god. I just got out the shower. I literally got home like 15 minutes ago. I jumped straight into the shower. It was so hot out there. And I was wearing that, you know, sweater. Girl, that was not the right attire. And the mall was hot. I was just, the girl was hot and just, no. So I just took such a good shower, exfoliated my body, washed my face, brushed my teeth, mouthwash. Now I'm just doing toner. Still going strong with this Korean um, toner right here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I told you guys I was going to give you an update. I love it so much. And I definitely think it's helping my skin. Let this sit in. It's 6.30. I'm about to just lotion up, finish my skincare. I got my baby. She's cleaning her room. I need to put her sheets and stuff in the dryer and her dry them so I can make her bed and yeah I pretty much did my things for that I am gonna hop on the computer and go on Zara and order those shoes hopefully they have my size in stock usually they're really good with if it's not in store you can get them you can get them online but I really want them so I'm gonna order them and that means they'll be here by like probably Tuesday Wednesday latest and I really like before I go on with my retinol. This is a microdose retinol from Kiehl's. I recently got this a couple weeks ago. I've been using it almost every single night. Loving this. I really think it's making a difference with like my skin, like the surface of it and how smooth it looks. So again, I don't have like super problematic skin, but I can still notice when like a product is working or it's just, it's not doing anything. Like I said, with the Caudalie one, I could just tell that toner was doing absolutely nothing. And I like to do kind of a generous amount. Lay it all over. But yeah, then I got some pizza I cooked last night. I made, I told you, the, the butter garlic steak and pasta. And then like two days before that, I made salmon and rice. Tonight, Friday, I'm not cooking. We have a pizza from like the Publix, the pre-made ones, not frozen, but they make them themselves. They be delicious. It's a flatbread one. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven in a little bit and we'll just split some of that for dinner. I'm not crazy hungry, but it's gonna be more so for Cali and I'll probably just have a bite. 
because I had lunch when I was out. And then what else? Yeah, girl, I'm gonna lay down and relax, period. Like, I don't care about my Friday nights. My Friday nights is self-care night. Unless I have plans, which I usually don't. If I like to do things on the weekend, I like to do it like on a Saturday or Sunday. Friday, it's like, girl, I just had a busy ass week working, being a mom, drive it, girl, no. Oh, and when I put that right now on, I kind of feel like be tingling my skin. But I like that because I feel like it's doing something. So now I'm just going to go in with the Skin Ethics Barrier Plus. I use this at night, but actually they, they upgraded the formula and they added B3. I believe that's what it is. I have to look on the site, but they emailed me, let me know that they're sending out the updated formula. They're going to send it out. So I should be receiving that any day now, which I really like this, but I guess now they have a new key ingredient and yeah, once I get that one, I'm going to use that one too, but I'm going to use this until it's out because this is nice this might be too much we're just gonna do it because my nose probably needs that extra moisturizer Ugh. for my cleanser i just use the tatcha rice wash that's still my like og favorite nighttime it gets so much off and just exfoliates the skin the poor nose was running and itching the entire time i was gone for hours Hopefully I can tan tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Renutrieve. I don't know. My friend Stephanie, she got this for me. And I love it because she works at Dior and the Dillard. So there's like, you know, she has access to all the other brands. And she be getting a bunch of stuff. And she's a generous queen. I love it so much. And I told her like a week ago, like, girl, I need more. And guess what? She got me another one. So there are many sizes, but there's a lot in here. And I've been using it since January. I got this on my birthday, January 7th. It's been two months. I still have so much left. I use it all the time. And she just got me a new one. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, wait. Listen. These are tech friends I'm talking about, okay? Give me the good stuff. My poor nose is like tingling because the skin is so raw right there. Whatever. And then I just try to do my best. I'm not really to touch my face for the rest of the night. Especially when my hands are dirty. And now I'm just going to go in lotion, guys. I'll tap in with you in a sec or maybe tomorrow. Okay. It is Saturday morning. I just went and checked all my packages over the past like four or five days. A lot got delivered yesterday and today as well. I think two packages got delivered today. Some is PR sponsorships and then the other is like things I ordered from Amazon. This right here is PR. This is from Skin FX or Skin Fix. Girl, I said that. This is from Skin Fix. I said it's so wrong. This is their new Skin Barrier Expert 2014. Let me show you. This is what I was just talking about. I said that I have this moisturizer but they updated the formula and now it has bl3 which i guess helps with um you know your skin barrier all that good stuff that a lot of people have been talking about and i do use the first formula that they had so i'm excited to try out this one i have normal to dry skin so i like very thick hydrating moisturizers at night and this is definitely one of them so yay super excited about that and what else we got this is something i ordered from amazon just a pack of these edge edge brushes i got a pack of how many are in here 10 because i always need them and i used to just get them from the hair store but i feel like after a couple months i need a new one and i was tired like right now i need new ones so i went on amazon instead because i had to order my edge control too which i can only get from amazon and i was like why don't i just order these a pack of 10 and i don't need them to be like super perfect yeah these bristles are hard and the comb part, which I kind of use here and there. So this is great. I got a pack of 10 of these if you're interested. I'll put them in my Amazon storefront. I Ooh. These are poly mailers for when I ship packages. I recently just ran out of my 
my custom ones with Alyssa Marie Ray body on it, which I'm still gonna make another order, but I need like polymelas right now because I have to ship orders tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, Monday, and I only have like two polymelas left. So I like to keep a little backup of some off of Amazon. These are just plain white polymelas, but they do amazing. They just don't have my logo on it. So if you do like your own small business and stuff and you don't have custom polymelas yet, but you just need like some durable ones, Amazon has a really good amount. And make sure you pay attention to like the sizing you need. I get a 12 by 15, which is the perfect size to fit not only my waist trainers, but if I just do like my bands or my ankle cuffs, you know? So got a set of those and you guys, I'm late to the trend. Well, not even the trend, but just because it's not a trend. This is like a lifestyle. Like this is people with necessity, you know? But I've been hearing stuff about it since like last year. And I was like, oh, I should get it. I should get it. And I heard it first for me with who I follow. What's her name? Shanika Adams, you know? And my girl's into like holistic things and just like true self-care and whatever. So the African net, I decided to order some. I'm gonna try it tonight. And I got a pack of three, soft, quick drying, machine washable, deep clean. Oh, I love that, you can just wash them. Please soak the product in hot water for 15 minutes before use. I've heard that, because I was reading the reviews and they were saying to, on your first time that you try these, to really soak it in water first or it's gonna be kind of too harsh and scratch the skin. And I have like, dry skin i exfoliate i literally exfoliate last night i exfoliate almost every other day at least four days a week i try to exfoliate especially my legs and stuff to keep them smooth if i don't like my skin will build up it will feel rough and bumpy and i will get the like entrapped and grown hairs and stuff so i really got to stay on top of my exfoliating game and when i heard about this i was like girl you need to get it you need to get it so i got some and i can't wait to try them out let me know your thoughts if you already have these or if you like swear by them or any tips and tricks when it comes to using it let me know because i'm new to it but i'm definitely going to make sure when i use it to soak it in water first and then i just got oh i need i need a new one so bad if you see my the one in my bathroom i'm like scraping the sides of it and it's starting to get like like stale looking you know when it loses like that pure consistency because it's so old but it lasts so long i get the gummy professional this is on my amazon storefront i keep it there this, i get the ultra hold i get the red kind you know who put me onto this Aaliyah. Aaliyah put me on Aaliyah's face put me onto this almost two years now i saw she was using it and i'm like girl every time she would use she like girl, i swear i swear about it so i had to go on amazon to find it and there's different ones the ultra hold is the one girl this is the one it's so good i'm trying to open it okay that's just too much but i gotta re-up and it lasts a really long time what else Ooh, i know what this is this is from native i'm so excited i don't know if i can say that now i probably can say it so Native is launching a lotion. Like they re, I guess they had a lotion. Like a, let me just see, let me just see girl before I get to talking. So I don't know if these are out yet, but this is the box to just, you know, boom. And then it's two, they sent me two. So I think these are new that's coming out. Like they have a lotion, but it's not like this. Now it's like a full size body lotion. But I work with, this is for a sponsorship. They just sent out the product soon. This isn't PR, this is a sponsorship. And I'm just so grateful because one, I love the brand. And then I did my first sponsorship with them last month with their aluminum free deodorant and body spray. And it went so well. I love creating that ad for them. And then they circled back, wanted to work with me again with their body lotion for this month. So I'm just so happy when you see you know, you see your girl, da, 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 show some love. I'm so, I love how this feels. Like, it, it's, it, it feels, it has like a grip on it. Like it has like a texture on the bottle. It feels very, I don't know, I like that though. I'm excited to try this because I do not play about hydrating. What are we just talking about? Exfoliating. I told you guys 
I have normal to dry skin, definitely dry skin on my body. So I have to take really good like extra care for it. So I do not play when it comes to every time I take a shower, I lotion my body down. So I'm excited to try these out and see if it's hydrating enough, especially for someone like me who has drier skin. And this is just my month, well, one of my monthly revolve packages. I picked a couple things out last week or earlier this week i don't know because their shipping is really fast not gonna really take them out i got a black everything i got is black i only got three things i got this black top which i might wear to the burner boy concert because we went to the mall yesterday it was a fail this mini black dress and another mini black dress but they're completely different i'm not gonna pull those out but that's one of the things we got and then we also just got our monthly order of eternal waters Bless you, baby. Which, whoo, child, I, I'll deal with that. I'm going to give some away. Like, I give them to my family and friends when I already have, like, enough. And I'll keep, like, one. I'll probably keep two boxes. And then I'm going to give one because Kodak said she just ran out. So I'm going to give her some. So, yes. And I'm excited because I just got reached out to from a prime. My daughter is obsessed with prime. And I woke up to an email this morning of them wanting to put me on their PR list and send out all their whatever. So I'm like, she's obsessed. Like I just brought her some yesterday from the store. She's gonna be hyped, so I can't talk about it. But anyway, okay. So you didn't miss too much this morning. I just woke up, I slept in, of course, because I don't have to go to the gym today. And I did my skincare, cooked some breakfast, had my coffee, just kind of been chilling. This is like the first big thing that I did. I had to go down and get all my packages. Now I'm going to put everything up, break all these boxes down because I don't want to cause a mess. And we might go to the pool. It's like cloudy. The sun pokes out here and there. I don't know. But it does feel good outside, so... We'll see that's up in the air. Hi, so we're about to go to the pool and try to catch some rays. Like, we're just gonna see. We're just gonna go. And it does feel good out. So we're gonna get out the house. This is what I'm wearing. This swimsuit is from Merval. I'm wearing an extra small. And it's so comfortable, so stinking cute. I love it, it feels great. And I love this little design right here. I'm not doing anything crazy. We're literally just gonna go lay out. Like, I'm just gonna put this on. I'm gonna put some sunscreen on my face. And then I have like sprays and stuff. And I have a tanning oil that has sunscreen in it. I just go lay out for a little bit and just relax. Probably take my headphones and just kind of listen to some music and just chill because we have like the like layout beds that can sit like in the pool. So probably, you know, post up. And yeah, I'm trying to, it's 1.30 right now. And we're gonna go to the grocery store later today because we need some food to stock up for the week. And oh my god, do I look tan? It started burning up out there. Like, girl, I think the first like 30 to 35 minutes, not even. Yeah, 30 to 35 minutes, it was like mostly cloudy. Then the sun would come out for like a minute, two minutes. Then it would be like cloudy again. Then the sun would come out for like four minutes whatever then when we got to about an hour it sun was out just stayed out blazing honey on the skin burning cooking like i'm covering my face i'm getting the water i'm getting out the water Whew. yeah you can see it oh my god i'm so happy i'm gonna take the best shower ever now we got hi girlie so it is what is today it is sunday evening nine o'clock and i just got ready because i'm about to go out just for a drink maybe a small bite to eat i really 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 wanted to get out the house i just spent the day one slept in time change so i didn't get up till 11 p.m made breakfast and then we went to the pool today for like two or so hours your girl i'm like burn a little bit i'm so happy i was able to use my darker foundation today in the new makeup ever hydro glow so good i've worn it once before loved it but then i had to kind of stop because it was just it was not my pale shade so let me show you what i'm wearing look at this cute little dress this dress is from mesh key it's new and this is the back 
it like ties right here, ties around the neck, and then it has this little like drip thing. And I just put my hair over it like this. And I love it. I'm wearing it extra small, fits perfect. And I'm just wearing these new heels. And I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. You first of all, you can definitely see that demarcation right here, like that tan line right there. You can totally see it. But I'm also like red as well. So, anyways, I'm just sipping on a little tequila in Oche. Mm. And I'm about to leave. <laughs> I'm trying to take my. Well, don't mess up the thing I took my picture. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. It's like sweet, but like. You're gonna drink that fast. For real? That's good. It's super sweet, but it's good. still i don't know why i wake up i woke up feeling like the allergies are getting to me so i just took another zyrtec it is like 10 something right now i woke up around nine i just let my alarm go because again it's spring break right now Callie's not in school so baby my alarm is not at 7 a.m if i don't have to get up at 7 a.m and also i do have enough time to just you know handle my things I just have my Pride Pre right here. This is in the color, not, girl. This is not a makeup video. This is in the flavor, blue slushy. Yeah, last night was cute. We just went to Yard House, had one drink. I didn't even finish all of it because it was a hefty pour. It was good. It was the lavender drop. And that's like the first place I've been to in Tampa that carries it. I'm, maybe there's other places, but First place I've been to. I've had other lavender cocktails, but not a lavender drop. It's so good too. And they are not shy from the alcohol. But yeah, I have not worked out all weekend. I haven't worked out since Friday. So I'm really, really excited to get this workout in. We have four more days until Fit and Feminine six week program launches. I'm so excited. Um, my editor sent me over like the logo for the program last night. And just going over sending me, you know, the stuff because the editor I'm working with, he's done all my prior programs. And so we're, we pretty much know what we're doing over here. And it's now way easier to just like, okay, finishing touches, you know, little in each program, we try to make it a little bit better. So I'm so excited today. I need to take some pictures. I'm going to at some point go pick up my sister, bring her here, change into like a cute fit outfit, get some like you know, pictures for the program because that's the last thing I didn't do and send them over to him so he can finish completing it. We can go ahead and get this flyer out because I don't have an like, actual flyer yet and we need to like time is ticking. And this one's not going to be a challenge. It's just going to be straight up a new program. Purchase it when you please. Start when you please. Six weeks, four days a week. So it won't be a challenge where like you have to start at a certain time, but it is going to launch on Friday. So ideally people can get ready and start it on that Monday. All right, let's see if I like these shoes. Well, no, I know I like these shoes. I need to show you them. I saw them in person. They just didn't have my size. They got delivered from Zara right to my door. So we went to the mall when? Friday? I ordered these Friday evening. It is Monday and they got delivered at 1030. Like, as soon as I got done talking to you guys and I was about to head to the gym, they were at my door. Okay, how do I open this? Uh, I don't know. Oh. And what I planned to wear tonight, I don't think these are going to go because these are nude. And I think I'm just going to wear all black, but like this really cute mesh top that I got from the wall. But I have not even tried it on yet. And I just posted on TikTok the dress from last night. Oh my God, so many people are loving it. It's so cute. I didn't even know Meshki had it in red and green and baby pink and like a pattern. I'm gonna have to tell them I need more. Like I want the red, it's so cute. So 
yeah, if you're interested in it, it's on my LTK now. Oh, these are really cute. Oh, they're so cute. I what? I love them. <laughs> Look, you guys. They're this mesh material, but they're nude. They look like they're going to be very sturdy on. I'm a size 36. I love them. So classy. So cute. Ugh, I need to try them on. And they have a lot of cute heels in right now. Like, I want these. If I end up liking these. And they're short, so they should be comfortable. Dang. I might change my whole outfit so I can wear these. But I have some other, like, black kitten heels. They're black mules that I can wear because I, I wore my Steve Madden's to the Drake concert. And they were cool, but when we was walking back to the car, oh, I was hurting. So, but those are, like, the standard, like, four-inch heels. So, if I can wear, like, my black kitten heels, then I should be all the way good for the whole night. Um, how stinking cute are these? I love them. I'm gonna cut this and try them on. Oh, I love these, honey. What a nice flowy mini dress with these for like a brunch. Oh, I love them. They're so cute and it feels super secure. And you just buckle it on that side. But I really like these. Like imagine like going to brunch even like a sexy like leggings and a bodysuit and then like wear these oh it'd just be so classy i love them and i always wear like a nude color on my toes so the, the polish is always gonna match i really enjoy these look at my tan y'all my foot is so tan <laughs> okay i'm just now tapping in it's a whole lot later hi mom who wants to match me? We're both wearing all black. Well, you have a pop of color. Yeah. But um, I'm fully ready. We are headed to Burnable. It's 7:27, so plenty of time. We have right on time. Um, did you eat? Oh, you made spaghetti. I made spaghetti. Damn, I want some. Did you make it with meat? Yeah. Cause <laughs> veggie. Oh, I'm gonna get some of that after this. It's gonna be so good. A little oh. marinade for a little bit. You made enough, right? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me you knew I was coming? I could have came up 30 minutes early, got a little plate. Cause I'm like, I'm not trying to go to the concert eat their food. Like, oh no. Uh. Be hot dog with a bun. I had something before I started getting ready. It's now two hours later. Mm, I should be fine. Cause when we went to Drake, we kind of like. I knew not to go on empty stomach and I didn't get any food when we went. I didn't need it. So bad at all. But this is the outfit. The outfit I've worn before. I wasn't able to get any for the vlog. I do have it on my phone. Maybe I'll like put it in here. But this is cute, but I've worn this last year. It's like a little brunch. Nobody's seen it. And like my favorite black leggings. And I have just my little plush right here. And I'm feeling real cute. I'm so happy I am tan. Like everything is just better. Like my makeup looks the same again. <laughs> like, okay, I was making it work, but now that I was able to use my darker foundation, the concealer, everything looks better. Ugh, I'm just so happy. I could tell Callie was tired after two days in the pool because she didn't say nothing today. She didn't. She didn't want to go nowhere. She didn't have to go outside. She was just chilling, playing her little games, coloring. Like, she ain't. Because I was ready to be like, no, I have work. And then this. Man, I'm so excited. And um, I'm not really great at filming at concerts and stuff. I would do what I can on my phone. Cause I'm gonna take a, can you even take a camera? Oh, no. no, this is from, um, what is this? Aren't they like redoing the road? Of course they chose today. I mean, it is Monday, but there's a concert. And it's the right lane. I was gonna say it's 7.30. <sighs> I feel like I rarely vlog with my makeup done. And it's like, I'm a whole different person. <laughs> <laughs> and I curled my hair. I've had this hair a month tomorrow and this is like my second time curling it and it just feels like so fresh and like a whole new look 
I was gonna take it out this week, but I don't know. This looks really good. I might wait till next week. That'll be five weeks. Five? Get your money work. Yeah. Come on, eh? I'm ready. You're ready to go. Oh, What's the limp come over me? makeup off I'm so ready to get in my bed and we had such a good time it was really really nice yeah we had a really good time and it's just love concerts I really do enjoy a good concert it's like there's just such good energy such positive vibes and I love it we have really good seats we can see just everything and yeah only thing was that I knew he was I knew usually they don't come on on like time time or whatever time we think but the concert was at 7 30 he came on at almost 10 o'clock <laughs> like 9 45 9 50 literally and I was like okay and then he performed for an hour um but and of course listen that man is fine Jesus he's very handsome so now I'm just taking my micellar water and the hyaluronic acid and aloe. Taking off this makeup. Using still using my Shiseido. I think that's how you say the brand. There are cotton pads which just feels like butter on the skin. It's so soft. And I um did my brows earlier, just as in like razor them, tweeze them, because I grew my brows myself. Ever since post pandemic, I used to get them threaded all the time, like every two weeks. But then like the girl, they had like those, what do you call it? Restricted hours. And then there was only one girl I really loved who did them. And even one time I went to another one at the same place and they just completely jacked them. So I had to grow them out and went for the other girl. And she started having like restricted hours. And then it was so far. And I was like, you know what, F that. I can just do these myself. So I literally just tweeze and razor my brows into shape and yeah. It usually only needs to be razored like once a week, week and a half. And I just tweeze as like, I start to get my hairs to grow underneath. And as I see them, I just pluck them. So it kind of stays like clean under there almost all the time. Hey, good too. That Cuban was so good. Some popcorn. And then my mom made spaghetti, which she wasn't even going to tell me. So as soon as we got back, I just went to her house to pick up Callie. And I just had me a small plate of spaghetti. So yeah, I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm probably going to drink me some water. I had like two drinks. But they weren't really like strong or anything. I felt like barely tipsy. Which kind of is not good because new drinks are not cheap. And I had gotten double, and I was just like, good job. 